Hey everyone, this is a quick video tutorial on how to pin to taskbar an executable jar file that opens with Java. So here I have this application I use that runs with Java. Um, this is the previous version I've had for a while, and it used to be um, pinned to my taskbar, but I unpinned it for the sake of this video. Now, as you can see, it's a desktop shortcut, and I want to show you what happens when I open it. So, as you can see, down on the taskbar, this little icon pops up, and when I right-click, the only option you have is Close All Windows. So I'm going to make a new shortcut and show you the process um, to allow you to pin this to the taskbar. So let's close this. And I'm going to make a new shortcut with the previous version, or the, sorry, the new version of this app that I just downloaded. So I'm going to go into my downloads folder, select the file I want. I'm going to give it a name. It doesn't matter what the name is. 18543. And there's our new shortcut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, go into properties. And here in this target menu, I'm going to type Java W dot exe dash jar and I'm going to hit apply now I want you to look at the target type and target location so the target type that's the essentially the type of file that it is um, it's an executable jar file and the computer doesn't let us pin that um, so what this is going to do is it's going to change the target location to essentially launch it directly from the Java application, which is Java W.exe, and it'll essentially change into an application type. So now if we go OK and launch properties once more, as you can see now the target type is application and the location is the Java path that we just entered. <clears throat> so I'm going to open this app up. And now that the computer considers it to be an application, um, when it opens up down here, we're going to be able to right-click and select Pin to Taskbar. So, now this application is pinned to our taskbar, and we can open it directly from there without having to use the desktop shortcut. So with that, I'm going to delete the old version of my app here. And yeah, that's everything you need to know. I hope that video was a little bit helpful to you. Um, thanks for watching.